Europe India Foundation for Excellence organized a unique gathering of over 300 skill development professionals from six European nations and India in New Delhi on November 21st and 22nd. The first India International Skill Development Summit was aimed at transfer of European know-how, technology and best practices in the domain of training. It was a beautiful summit, very well organized. I think the best part of the summit was the way it brought together partners from India and multiple other countries. You know, we've had people from Switzerland, people from Germany, people from France and Brussels. So the way we were able to learn from each other, talk about best practices, talk about what works, talk about what doesn't work. I think that was the key uh, advantage of attending the summit for us. You please keep uh, making these kind of things happen. Uh, get all the people who are into this uh, field together. Uh, let them talk to each other, let them question each other, let them debate with each other, let them evolve it. You are the guys who can actually give us a, uh, a forum to be together. Otherwise, individually a state coming out and trying to uh, gather people and trying to understand the market of the Europe is impossible. Because we as an organization in the government, it is very difficult for us to directly go to, the, um, uh, to Europe uh, to find out partners or to find out some quality inter intervention and skill. Whenever there is an organization like EIFE, they can provide that platform for us. The focus of the event was on creating strategic collaboration between Europe and India and hence a large part of the program was decoded to prefixed B2B meetings. We realized that India needs much more support and uh, especially to know how they can go faster in building up an ecosystem. An ecosystem means that all the partners are working together, especially the um, industry partners, the businesses, as well as people from the government. You also have this whole aspect of certification, the value for the certification, and therefore units like yours which actually comes in and says that, okay, I play a role of an umbrella organization and I'm bringing in all the different players who come in with their areas of expertise. If I can create a skills passport and uh, actually make sure that people who are skilled and, you know, can continue to maintain their skills relevant yeah. and valid over a point of time. See, I went through a communication skills workshop when I was 20 years old. Do I consider myself an expert today? I don't know. But is it, is it certified? I don't know. There is none of these things available, so it's up in the air and it's up to you to decide your own thing. The summit's focus on creating business opportunities and linkages was borne out by the fact that number of MOUs were signed during the event. So to understand what exactly are the best practices in terms of training modules, training designs, the programs, the practices that uh, these international expert institutes follow where countries like Germany who is at 75% on the skilling domain or even US which is at more than 50% skilling domain. So it is more to have even a learning experience from these entities who are present here as a EU representation and understand what best we can improve to, to enhance our quality and the delivery mechanism in the vocational uh, training. You probably heard about the famous uh, contract of Rafale between India and France and that's why we are there in order to, uh, to catch all the questions of training and employment. Uh, for that uh, we have many contacts that we are organized in the few coming days uh, in some states uh, in, uh, in, in Bangalore and uh, other, other states. So that's the first thing, very important because it is concrete things to do and, and we do that with uh, one of the subsidiary of our company UMM which is Code 4 uh, it's speci specialized in uh, international actions like that. And the second thing, it's probably more political, is to try to explain to the world uh, of, uh, of India, like the German do also, that uh, in order to skill people, the education system has to be very close to the companies, because companies know skills and education knows theoretical and expertise. And the two worlds have to discuss together. As the meeting came to a successful conclusion, the participants are now heading for one week of side visits throughout India. The summit promises to return next in June in Paris to take the European participation in Skill India to the next level.